The manhunt for a reality show contestant Ryan Jenkins ended yesterday when he was found dead in a Canadian motel, an apparent suicide. He was wanted for brutally killing his ex-wife, model Jasmine Fiore. Joining us now is Dr. Michael Wellner, one of the country's top forensic psychiatrists, to talk about this. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Nice to see you. Always good to have you on. When I first heard about this, how it ended, I'm from South Florida. I immediately thought back to Andrew Cunan and Johnny Versace's killer, who was the object of a nationwide manhunt and was found uh, on a boat where he committed suicide down in Miami Beach. Did you have, did you make Yeah, you know, there, there are certain commonalities. Uh, Cunanan was a, a product of this celebrity culture. He attached himself to the high life and, uh, and he targeted Gianni Versace because he, uh, he, he put himself into that spotlight. But the same vanity that targets a celebrity and the same vanity that puts yourself on a reality show and seeks out a trophy wife is the same vanity that says, you can't reject me, so I'm going to kill you. And it's the same vanity that says, I, know when you, I do not want to be caught alive as a murderer. I would rather die. And so that is how the two come together. Kunanan was not going to be caught alive as a murderer. And it was that same vanity of not being one to be to put out there as, as public enemy number one. People might be wondering, keep hearing he's a reality show star. We should tell them that he, he was on this show, Megan Wants a Millionaire for VH1, that will never air, that VH1 Well, it's also a pathology. Cancel. You know, that's, you know, what is a reality show star? And what are the people, who are the people who attach themselves? They, they actually aren't reality. They're, they're people who have an emptiness that they want to fill with something that's very shallow and very trophy-like. This is a, the, the kind of tragedy that fathers should talk to their sons about being able to learn about how to tolerate rejection and that women should talk to their daughters about staying away from men who value them as trophies who can't handle the, the rejection of it when, it when it ends because these are the cocktails that end in domestic violence and this is an ultimate tragedy. But this seems like someone who had uh, mental issues, a problem far beyond that. I mean, oh, to no, cut no, off no. somebody's fingers. Well, you know, there are two things. First of all, I don't think to there take are, out her teeth so there, she there, wouldn't be identified. There, there, there are two things here. First of all, the mental issues of the reality show. Um, we value celebrity. We create people who are obsessed with getting a blonde who wants a millionaire. So we give a lot of attention and we create stars and, and people develop their whole identity and themselves around being seen and being known. When it comes to the, the cutting off of the fingers, listen, when I started in forensic psychiatry, if you heard a crime like this, you would figure that it's somebody who was schooled in prison about That's how right. to keep themselves from getting caught. People are now homeschooled on being a criminal from primetime dramas. They learn. They learn from what they watch how to conceal a crime so they are not going to get caught. There's a responsibility issue. What are we teaching people? Why is it that 14-year-olds know how to keep from getting caught, how to hide a body? Is this what 14-year-olds should be, should be learning? This is where he learned it. He, he didn't learn this in custody. He didn't learn this as a hardened criminal. And yet he knew what to do, and he was cold enough to treat someone whom he loved in such a dehumanizing way. It's disturbing all around. Dr. Michael Wellner, thank you. Appreciate your interest. Appreciate your insight.